Harvick brings his Ford Mustang into the party now late in the going. Eight laps to go at Talladega. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Here comes the outside lane. A full head of steam with Kurt Busch and David Reagan. Busch on the comeback trail. He powers to the outside lane. Drafting help from David Reagan. Drafting help from Kyle Busch and Ryan Blaney. Around the outside. Kurt Busch back to the lead at Talladega. Ford and Chevy side by side for the lead. Here comes lane three kicking in. And it's led by... By Brendan Gone. Now Kyle Bush will jump up in front of him. Three wide looking for the lead in three. Kyle Bush leads that charge on the high side, flirting with the wall, trying to get up alongside Kurt Bush, and he does it. There's still three wide all the way through turns three and four. Stenhouse Bush and his brother Prime. Seven to go here at Talladega. Three wide for the race lead, but here comes Kyle Bush all the way, top side, drafting help from Brendan Gone. Gone goes to second. Kyle Bush goes to the lead. Bush to the point. He's out by about two car lengths right now. They continue three wide behind him. Stenhouse on the bottom. Kurt Bush in the middle. Brendan gone up high. Gone begins to fade. He drops out of the top five for the moment. Kyle Bush now goes all the way at the banking, throwing the block on Kurt. Now Kyle comes back to the middle. Here comes the lane down low. Stenhouse will wedge his way in. Contact. Kyle Bush is into Keselowski. Brendan gone up and over. Back on all four wheels. Matt DiBenedetto gets it. About a dozen cars crashing and colliding with Brendan gone. Flipping over, landing on all four, and sliding to the bottom of the racetrack in three. Seven laps to go at the Talladega Super Speedway. The Money Lion caution is on the speedway for the ninth time. Back out to the back stretch and Mike Bagley. It all started when Kyle Busch got turned around and he made hard contact and went up the racetrack and collected Brad Keselowski. He collected a number of other drivers as well, including Brendan Gaughan, who got clipped and did a flip in midair as he went off the end of the back straightaway. That car went totally over and landed on all four wheels, but the carnage doesn't stop there. At least 10, maybe even a dozen drivers affected in this huge crash at the end of the back straightaway. Well, get your calculator out because it's going to take one to figure out who all has been involved here. Kyle Busch is on pit road. So is Ryan Priest. So is Chris Busher. So is Kevin Harvick, Brad Kozlowski. Uh, looking all the way down at the entrance is that, uh, well, that's the guy that we talked about that had this race with such a strong car in Ricky Stenhouse Jr. coming across the line. By the way, and we have to bring this up, Michael McDowell is being shown as the race leader here this afternoon. How big is that? That is massive for Michael McDowell. It's even bigger for Ryan Blaney. He's being shown in the second spot. He needs a win to advance to the next round in the playoffs. Eric Almarola will be scored third. Daniel Hemrick being scored fourth. Austin Dillon being scored fifth. Of course, they're going to, looks like, stop these race cars over there on the Alabama Gang Super Stretch for the cleanup that's going to continue to take place out there at the feet of Mike Bagley. You gave the top five, McDowell, Blaney, Eric Elmarola. Let's add Daniel Hemrick, who is fourth, then Austin Dillon. The rest of the top ten right now include Parker Kligerman, sixth, Ty Dillon, seventh, Ryan Newman, eighth, Chase Elliott just will not go away. He's ninth. Corey LaJoy completes the top ten. It is amazing, and we continue to sit under the Money Lion caution here for the ninth time. Here at the Talladega Super Speedway, we currently sit under the red flag. The cars are stopped over on the Alabama Gang Super Stretch for the cleanup over there at the feet of Mike Bagley. And, Mike, uh, what's the latest out there? Well, uh, Alex, there is a lot of debris that has been put down onto the racetrack. The good news is... A lot of it slid to the apron. Right now, safety crews, there are three trucks worth that are working at the end of the back stretch into turn number three, and they're just taking parts and pieces and throwing them in the back of those safety trucks. They are out actually on foot with buckets picking debris up as well, and they're walking basically from three into four, just picking up pieces of debris before the jet blowers, which are now stationed to my right, which will come through and finish off the job. I'm sure there will be a little speedy dry applied. I'm surprised that there's not more debris considering all the cars and the calamity and the contact we had just a handful of moments ago. They were racing three wide. Stenhouse kind of moved up just a little bit. I don't know that I would pin that on Ricky. And then Kyle moved up and caught Brendan. That sent him upside down, and it was on from there. But a three-wide virtual drag race down the super stretch. 
and uh, it happened at the very front of the field. And it's unfortunate for all involved, but we also talked about, you know, drivers that were having a career day uh, or certainly could equal one. David Reagan, he's done, ran up front when it mattered the most towards the end. Uh, Obviously, Brendan gone, the Las Vegas native, running at the front of the field, and he's done. And Matt DiBenedetto, who uh, 49 laps led in the Daytona 500. He was up front here at the end. That isn't going to matter either. And then when you take a look up and down pit road, some of the biggest names in our sport, Alex Hayden. And by the way, every playoff driver has had at least one issue so far today. Yeah. And going back to yesterday, because Ryan Blaney, a playoff driver, spun coming to pit road under green flag pit stop conditions. He's been able to rebound, and now he finds himself under this red flag, sitting in position number two. So sometimes it's better just to hang on there. One of those drivers that's been hanging on is Daniel Hemrick. Steve Post has more. Yeah, he's hanging on, but he's got some damage on that race car. When the caution comes out, they're going to work on the right front fender of that race car and the right front of that race car. So while it looks good on the scoring pylon, they have damage. They do feel, though, by surviving, they can still come out of here with a good, solid finish. That's Daniel Hemrick's story. All right, thank you, Posty. Here are the cars once again involved in this one, most recent here on lap 181. We are under the red flag. Kurt Busch, Brad Kozlowski, Kevin Harvick, Daniel Hemrick, Ricky Stenhouse, Kyle Busch, uh, Chris Busher, uh, is all, or not to uh, check that, uh, Ryan Priest and Chris Busher, David Reagan, uh, Brendan Gaughan, and Matt DiBenedetto. So a number of cars, again, have been collected. Playoff drivers in the top ten, only two now. Ryan Blaney, two, and Chase Elliott is the other. You talk about a day. Uh, Chase Elliott, can you imagine if you're just communicating with Chase? He'd be like, okay, what position are we running in right now? Uh, you're second. All right, what about now? You're 32nd and a lap down. Back and forth, up and down the leaderboard, that is a team that refuses to give up. You absolutely cannot give up. That's just part of Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series racing at any race during the season, let alone in the playoffs. And Chase Elliott, that team uh, led by Allen Gustafson and the rest of that team, they're doing a fantastic job of doing exactly what they need to do. All right, here's a quick look at the top ten under the red flag. Michael McDowell, race leader, then Ryan Blaney, Eric Elmarola, Daniel Hemrick, and Austin Dillon. That's your top five. Then it's Parker Kligerman, Ty Dillon, Ryan Newman, Chase Elliott, and Corey LaJoy. That is your top ten with six to go. Six laps to go here at Talladega. This is our second red flag of the event. The first came with the rain that approached yesterday and delayed us by about, what, 24 hours or so. Michael McDowell continues to show the way here at Talladega underneath this red flag. Blaney again is second, and Eric Almirola being shown in position number three here at the Talladega Super Speedway. 